I just realized something very funny. The slide of prostate cancer that was labeled Gleason's grade 2 is also the same slide for Gleason's grade 3. And that just proves my point. Uh, there's a lot of variation of opinion. So once again, you know if the malignant glands look exactly or almost exactly like normal glands, you know that's one. You know if you can't even recognize them as glands, that's probably a four or five. So most Gleason's wind up being two or three. And even within the same specimen, if you saw, without actually trying to teach you the exact Gleason's criteria, if you saw glands that were better differentiated like here than they are over here, you might want to call this a two and this is a three. It's variable. Uh, what I didn't show you in this last exact specimen, however, is that when somebody was nice enough to put India ink over the capsule, you could notice that all these little nerves that are underneath the capsule, like here, 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 they appear to not be involved by the cancer cells. However, hold your horses. Is this a little piece of tumor out here? Folks, I think I just might think it is. But in this case, it looks like it's in the capsule or perhaps near the fat. If you agree, it is tumor. Might not be, but it's certainly not in the perineural spaces. Um, but if you looked around a lot, maybe you would find some. But you do see, however, that all of this tumor down here comes very close to the nerve, doesn't it? but it doesn't really invade the perineural space. There's a vein, there's an artery, there's a nerve. That's probably a vein. That's a nerve. That's fat. That's a nerve. These are small, probably veins. There's a vein, there's a vein, there's a nerve. They are not at all involved with these tumor nests like you see down here in the bottom. Thank you very much. And also notice, of course, is that what I wanted to point out is that when they put this India ink at the edge of the specimen, you don't see any tumor cells going to the edge of the specimen. So then you could really tell the surgeon that he got it all, and then the surgeon can whip off his cap, walk into the patient's room, and say, we got it all. And that's what makes him God, and that's what makes you a low-paid grunt behind the scenes. Thank you very much.